Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I've got a Fusion 360 quick tip for you, but before we jump in, I wanna let you know of something new I'm gonna be trying for 2021. And that is these Fusion 360 live sessions that I'm gonna hold. Um, basically, these are going to be sessions that I'm gonna hold where you'll see me design a model from scratch. And along the way, you can jump in, ask questions if you have any questions on my technique or you know the last step that I took. Now, I am gonna keep these relatively small so that they can be you know high quality and interactive and that everyone can get a chance to you know speak up when they want to. So check the link below. That's gonna take you to my website here, um, desktopmix.com, and then you can just click on the live session tab here to get here, or actually the link will just take you straight to this page, and then you can choose the dates for January, which is gonna be uh, Monday the 4th or Tuesday the 5th, and you can see the times here. So you can click there to register if you wanna join. They are gonna be free, but yeah, feel free to join me. And if you know of anyone who would be interested in these, feel free to share the link. Um, for our first design, as you can see here, we're gonna be designing uh, Benchy. It's not the real Benchy, it's my modified Benchy. I simplified it in a way, but also modified it to allow me to really teach some powerful design concepts and techniques in Fusion 360. All right, I hope to see you there. Just click on the link below to join me. Okay, so let's jump into today's quick tip. And today's quick tip has to do with the pattern tool. I think many people want to use it, they don't quite realize that they can pattern in any direction that they want. And here, I'll start by first creating a sketch here. I'll just choose my XY plane. And I need an object to pattern, so I'll just create a circle here in the center. All right, now when we go to pattern this, so if I go to create down to rectangular pattern, I'll get my dialog box here. It's gonna ask me to choose my object, I'll choose my circle. And then when I click on direction, I can go ahead and choose a direction. In this case, I don't have anything visible to click, but I can simply grab these arrows. And you can see that that direction goes with my axes here. So I've got my Y and then my X. And you may think that that's all you're limited to is just pattern in those directions. But that's not the case. If I draw a line here, so L for a line, and let's say, I create one line going this way and another line, you know, going somewhere here. You know, they don't have to be 90 degrees to each other. They can be any direction. I can set an angle here if I want. I'll take these and make them both a construction line by hitting X. And now when I go to pattern, so let me deselect everything first by clicking on a white space, and then I'll go to create down to rectangular pattern. I'll select my object, and then for my direction here, I'll click on that, and then I'll select these lines that I just made, and notice that arrow changed. I can select both of them here. I'll select this one if I want a pattern in the other direction as well, and now you see the two arrows match these lines, and then I can simply drag to pattern in those directions. You know, and then I can increase my quantity, my distance, and all that. Um, but I just want to show you this part, that you don't have to pattern only in the direction of your axes. If you have a, a line that you've drawn or an existing edge, you can select those instead of going with the um, default arrow directions. So that's how you would do that. And you can do the same thing um, in the modeling environment. For example, if I finish sketch, and I'll take one of these and extrude them up so then I have a... 3D body here. And then I will go to create and down to pattern and do my rectangular pattern. And so we can do the same thing here. Um, let me bring that sketch back into view, right? So we see our line there. Now, when I choose, I'll here, I'll go to bodies for my type and then object, I'll choose my cylinder here that I made and then direction right normally we get well, our axes here will pop right up so it'll tell us that we can go ahead and and select them and we can pattern in those directions but in the same thing here we don't have to go with those directions you know we can simply choose our lines here i'll select both of these in this case i'll hold command and choose the next one control or command and there we go now i can pattern the body in the directions that i want click ok and there it is I mean, obviously I could have taken these and extrude them up, but another um, tip there is when you can pattern a body instead of a sketch, you're better off patterning the body. It's just uh, a lot easier on your computer, especially if, you know, let's say you're gonna make a couple hundred of these. 
that's going to be computationally intensive and really slow your computer down as opposed to taking one profile extruding it up and then pattering that body that's going to be easier on your system um, so if you have the option you want to pattern bodies instead of sketches so that's the quick tip for today if you've been limiting your patterns to the existing axes you don't have to you can pattern in any direction and you can do it in either the sketching environment or in your modeling environment all right if you found this helpful hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this and if you are interested in joining me for that live session go ahead and click on that link below to join